her back. And here comes one of the most devastating performers here in CCW, the Bulgarian Punisher, Meadow. In three years, he is undefeated. Resting that CCW Southeastern Heavyweight Championship from Alex Chamberlain and promptly turning his back on the fans. That helped him get it there, in my estimation. But he has been absolutely unstoppable. And tonight I understand he's making an open challenge. Saying something to Lucy Almeida. Ladies and gentlemen, Metal would like everyone here to know that he has been the CCW Southeastern Champion for over one year. And tonight, he is issuing an open challenge for anybody is. back there. Now let's see if somebody, I'm sure somebody's going to answer the call. Lots of guys chopping at the bit to get a title. Get your ass out here! Well, he might live to regret this challenge. And answering the challenge. There he is. The man with the most metal head in professional wrestling, Ozzy Kilmeister. Kilmeister, big fan favorite here at the Unbranded Brewing Company, the most metal head in professional wrestling and CCW's most improved wrestler of 2023, Ozzy Kilmeister. His goal this year is to have gold around his waist. And this is his chance right here, answering the open challenge of the Bulgarian Punisher. Boy, I tell you what, if anybody can do it, Ozzy Kilmeister can. Smashing that can right over his head. A la the Sandman. Kill my are not playing with a full deck. But I gotta tell you, I like it. They're face to face. You can see there, Meadow with a height advantage, certainly in better physical condition. Meadow doesn't miss a day in the gym. But the fans love Killmeister, and that could be the additional factor he needs to take him over the top here. Owens holding that belt up in the air, signifying the fact that it is indeed on the line. DC Almeida, our ring announcer, retrieving that title belt. As we wait for the call of the bell, should be a fantastic matchup, and there it is. The bell sounds, this one is officially underway. Meadow, pie facing Killmeister. Ooh, Killmeister, not aware, walked right into a right hand, but absorbed that blow. Fire went back in his own. These two standing toe to toe in the center of the ring, exchanging blows. Meadow, though, driving successive knees into the midsection. Oh, Kilmeister up over. Oh, rolls him up. One, two. Oh, that was close. Almost right out of the gate. The small package inside cradle rolls him up, two. Out of the way of that running punch and a headbutt to the chest. Kilmeister. And he's moshing, wrestling fans. Knife fetch chop. And again, Ozzy got referee getting in between him, trying to stop him. Bruce. Oh, what a dizzy call. Oh, my goodness gracious. He almost took his head off. Owens needs to check on Killmeister. That could have been a concussive blow there. Kilmeister just looked toward the table here, and he had a glassy eye look on his face. Meadow now driving those forearms across the jaw, first to the right and then to the left, and again to the right. Meadow is relentless when he has the upper hand. The 
the crowd getting behind Killmeister, trying to will him back to his feet and back into this match. Meadow, oh, he sent him hard into the buckle. Killmeister in serious trouble here. Meadow, though, wasting time, bowing to the camera. One thing I know about Isaac Killmeister is he's got guts and he's got heart, and he's got intestinal fortitude. You can't count down until the final bell rings. So better, Meadow better not take him lightly if he wants to hold on to that title. Meadow now with Killmeister again, hard into the buckle. Oh, he dropped, walked right into an elbow that time. Killmeister possibly out of de desperation, getting that elbow up. Killmeister, though, feeling it now. Back up to the second row. Oh, he went for that head bump, but Meadow caught him. Ooh! Overhead, belly to belly throw, well executed. And again, though, not going for the cover. And again, my fault on that is when you have your man down in, in a pinnable position, you got to go for that cover. Pinfalls win you the match. You're not getting paid by the hour out there. But Meadow not even bothering to go for the cover as Killmeister trying to get back up to his feet. Meadow now with a macho man. Forearm blow to the back, not much behind that one. Meadow now straddling the challenger. Looks like he's trying to possibly twist his head off. I can't quite tell from my vantage point. Azigo would be well served to get back up to a vertical base. And here comes the crowd now. Oh, nice jawbreaker, beautifully done. Meadow on rubbery legs here. Killmeister with that flying shoulder tackle. Puts Meadow on his back. Killmeister now with a spinning discus forearm. Nice reversal by the champion. Killmeister out of the way of that punch, out of the way of the elbow, and that flying headbutt connects. Killmeister now is back to his feet. He is fired up. Meadow in the corner, Killmeister 25 feet across the ring, charging and connecting. Beautiful. Meadow went through and reverse it. Killmeister reversed him right back into that same corner. Ooh! Killmeister was using his body as a weapon, flying across the ring. Ooh! He went for that. He went for that grip cord, but Meadow had it scouted. Meadow with that boot to the face. One, two, barely kicked out. That was awful close. Owens holding up two fingers. This has been a back and forth, outstanding matchup for the Southeastern title. Meadow says it's over, the Bulgarian Punisher with Ozzy Kilmeister on his shoulders, looking for the coup de grace. Ozzy, though, somehow landed out of it on his feet without any harm, driving that headbutt into the chest. And again, successive blows. Kilmeister now going for that spinning belly to back suplex, and he nailed it. Has him hooked. One, two. Oh, he had no weight across the chest. Meadow able to get that right shoulder up. Killmeister now, back to his feet. Meadow still on the mat. mat. Killmeister must capitalize right now. Now is the time he wants to win that title. He is right for the picking, is Meadow. Meadow now back to his feet, but he's staggered. Always out of the way. And a spear connects. Oh, he's not going for the cover, and that's a mistake. Meadow now, stop on the back. Oh, he's got him in the camel clutch. Can Ozzy hang on? Ozzy's on his knees. There's not as much pressure on the lower back. He's calling for the bell, that's it. Here's your winner, and still, CCW Southeastern Champion, Meadow. 
Now that was unexpected. He nailed him with that spear, didn't go for the cover. Instead, hooked him in that camel clutch, and that was enough to defeat the challenge of Ozzy Kilmeister. around the ring holding that title high in the air. The Bulgarian Punisher is certainly a dominant champion. You can't take anything. Focus Stone Design, from fabrication to installation of natural stone and quartz. Sick of seeing the same old kitchen? Revamp with us. Call us today or check us out online at bocastonedesign.com. You worked hard, started a family, and created a name for yourself in your professional circles. Your success created opportunities for your loved ones, to your family and community. You are a source of wisdom and financial support, and you take immense pride in putting others' needs ahead of your own. In these closing chapters of your life, a private estate at the Gardens of Boca Raton can memorialize your family name across generations. The Gardens of Boca Raton, two-time winner of Best of Palm Beach County. Fonzie 
He's having a senior moment, he think. He's not the referee. He was checking Martinez for weapons, it seems. Now he's, okay, now he's back to managerial duty. Maybe Veronica trying to get Bill Alfonso out of the ring. Some last minute guidance and instruction to his protege. And now Fonzie taking a step to the outside. The bell sounds, this one is underway. Stallion Rogers looks bored out of his mind. Rodgers, as I said, with a great, uh, great, significant height advantage. Driving Martinez back to the ropes. Referee looking for a clean break here. Rodgers rear back like he was gonna hit him and put on the brakes. Fonzie on the outside. Bree has got to keep his eye, keep her eye on him. Fonzie fired up. He's in rare form here tonight at Batch of the Brew number 36. Rodgers with a slap to the face. Martinez now with a waist lock though. Nice reversal by Rogers. Amateur takedown, but he just dumps him and puts a boot to the temple, just treating him with complete disdain. Greco Roman Knucklelock. Greco Roman Knucklelock now. And Rogers, who is an outstanding technical wrestler in his own right. Martinez, one of the best here in CCW, but Rogers has that international experience, has seen all kinds of wrestling styles. Driving back into the ropes again. Referee looking for the break. And we get a clean break. Baited him in with that Greco Roman knuckle lock once again, but he drove a form right to the Oh! Man, oh man, Ashevich with a devastating overhand chop. That really woke the crowd up here. Rogers driving the elbow right to the chest of Martinez. Martinez is down. Now Rogers is completely awake and into this matchup. I hope Martinez and Fonzie studied a lot of tape on this guy and are prepared for this onslaught. I hope they didn't take him lightly. Martinez up and over his man. Rodgers hits that buckle hard. Spin, spin kick to the ankle, puts him out of his face. Drop the leg right across the chest. Nicely done. One, two, not enough. Fonzie needs to get back down off that apron. Rodgers looking for a breather here. Martinez with a drop kick right through the ropes, up over the top rope. Oh, Rodgers did his homework. Look out. Oh, right into that corner post. Chest first. He avoided it with his head. And thank goodness he did. Rodgers approaching Martinez on the outside. Better pay attention to count. Veronica up to about a four count now. Oh, what a form right here in front of me. Man, a man of shepherds. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if Martinez has a broken jaw right now, if at least not this little baby. Oh, and again, hard in that corner post. Chest first. Fonzie encouraging his man. Rodgers now. Oh, he said something in Spanish in his crowd. I know it was a negative comment. Rodgers back in the ring now after Martinez. Drives the knee right into the chest. One, two, Fonzie. Halfway into the ring, making sure there's not going to be a three count there. Martinez still has a lot left in the tank. This is a tough guy. Rodgers. 
that Garvin stomp all around the body, all the pressure points, every joint. And another knee drop right to the chest, goes to the cover. Hook of the leg, two, and only two. Fonzie again, halfway in the ring, encouraging his man. Martinez has taken a lot of punishment in this one. Martinez desperately needs to mount some offense here. Driving some shots into the rib cage there, and a kick to the leg. Martinez with a forearm, not much behind it. Stallion Rod, which is connected with the drop kick right to the face. Knee on it. He initially had it on the throat, moved it to the chest, which was enough for a count. Well, Stallion Rodgers has just been all over Martinez. Since that initial forearm blow to the jaw, Martinez has uh, had that difficult time. And again, man. Martinez in trouble in that corner. Oh, what a goodness gracious. That overhand chop to the chest. Sat out like a shotgun, and again, another four. Martinez is in serious trouble here. Hard into the buckle, he goes bounding down, face first into the mat. Fonzie might want to think about grabbing that towel off that top turnbuckle and throwing it into the ring. I have never seen Alan Martinez so dominated by his opponent. Well, the one thing I know about Martinez is there is absolutely no quit in him. And it's just going to take one mistake by Rodgers for Martinez to capitalize. And there's a couple shots to either leg. And again, that forearm that has been so effective for Rodgers is effective once again. And Martinez is just down on the mat. Can you hear the crowd now? Si se fuere. That mantra of Alan Martinez, yes you can. Martinez really needs to mount some offense here. Fonzie in the corner talking to him. Rogers, man, connected with that boot right to the face, sweeping the leg out for Martinez. Martinez in the seated position in the corner at the receiving end of a knee to the jaw. Now come on, Amy, get in there, start counting. That was right to the throat. Rodgers pointing at the referee. Better not mess with Amy Veronica. Rodgers now 25 feet across the ring. Martinez in serious trouble here in a seated position. Oh, and that flying drop kick caught him. Martinez got his hands up to protect himself a little bit. An absolutely vulgar motion here from, Mark, from Rodgers to the crowd. Rodgers now, with, oh look at Martinez. Tremendous, tremendous effort by Martinez. Explorer suplex, not much behind it, but right into that corner, and Rodgers' head just bounced off the mat. Rodgers had him in a front face lock, thought he was in complete control, but Martinez just dug down deep and delivered that offensive maneuver. Now Martinez feels the fire. He's feeling the crowd here behind him. He's got to make a comeback now. Rodgers making his way back to his feet. Martinez now with a clothesline. Down goes Rodgers. He's right back up. Martinez clotheslines him down again. Springboards himself back with a flying clothesline that time. Needs to go for the cover. Martinez, though, picking it back up. Oh, he's looking for that either a double underhook suplex or, oh, right under the backbreaker. Beautifully done. A double underhook into a backbreaker, backbreaker, innovative maneuver. And now Martinez is fired up. He's got the crowd behind him, but he needs to capitalize and put Rodgers away while he's got the chance. Beautiful flying form off that top turnbuckle. Goes for the cover. One, two, no. No weight across the chest. Had it across the midsection. Hooked both legs. But Rodgers able to raise both shoulders almost like a sit-up. But Martinez, not to be deterred, goes to the outside. He's climbing to the top once again. 
Martinez, so dangerous off the top rope. Rogers, though, back to his feet and throws Martinez off balance using that top rope. Veteran move by Stallion Rogers. Martinez in a seated position in that top rope in a very precarious position right now. Rogers on that top rope. We, know, we don't know what kind of damage could have been done. Rogers approaching his man in that headbutt. Caught him right in the jaw. And Rogers might have knocked himself senseless. Shaking the cobwebs out of his head. Right, he's got him hooked here for a superplex, possibly. Climbing all the way to the top. Martinez now on the top. Oh, tremendous. Tremendous superplex. Both men had to feel the effects of that, but Rodgers back to his feet. Martinez in a seated position. Not sure if it wasn't all or not. Voluntary. Oh, double stop right to the chest. Goes for the cover. This could do it. Two. Somehow, some way, Alan Martinez was able to power out. And you hear the crowd again. Si se puede. I don't know how he kicked out of that. I thought that was it for sure. A devastating superplex and an incredible double stop by Rogers. And again, that overhand chop that has been so effective. Martinez returning the favor. And again, here comes Martinez with a four on that time. And a four on by Rodgers. They're exchanging blows in the center of the ring now. This one has broken down into a pier six brawl. They are exchanging forearms now. Who is going to get the better? I can't tell. Rodgers staggered a bit, but delivered him the four to Martinez. Martinez is back with a four of his own, but a kick to the midsection and a knee to the face. Rodgers now, but Martinez blocks it into Gore. He catches it. Martinez now. Oh, he walked right into a clothesline, and it was a devastating one. But Martinez right back to his feet. The adrenaline is pumping on both men. German suplex. Oh, he landed right to the top of his head with that German from Rogers. Out of the way of that clothesline, and another German by Martinez. Oh, what a matchup we're seeing here. Oh, what a headbutt to the neck. And Martinez catches it with a Savak kick to the chin, and both men are down. Referee counting both men. If neither man can regain their feet, this match will be a draw. Martinez beginning to stir. Rogers has not moved. Martinez up to his knees. That should break the count. Rogers up to his knees as well. Boy, these two have given it their all. Forearm again by Rogers. And Martinez back at him. And again, it's Rogers. And it's Martinez. These two are knocking each other's blocks off. Oh, he removed that elbow pad. Oh, and another Savak kick by Martinez. And again, he's got him up. He's got him up. Oh, go to sleep. Cover that man. Hook of the leg. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. I can't believe it! I can't believe it! What's it gonna take to put this man's shoulders to the mat? Oh, for goodness sake! What a matchup we're seeing here at the Unbranded Brewing Company, Bash the Brew, number 36. Martinez back to his feet. Martinez now, he's feeling it, but he's gotta put him away. He's going to the top once again. Rogers trying to regain his feet. Martinez is up on the top. Rogers is saying, no! He tried to pull Amy right in front of him. Martinez saw it and he put on the brakes. Caught him the kick right to the knee. And again now, Martinez. Oh, man! A blatant low blow by Stallion Rogers to Martinez. Right in front of the referee, she promptly called for the bell. This one has got to be a disqualification. Wow, oh, what an uns unsportsmanlike move by Stallion Rogers. Rogers now, oh, come on! He has that steel chair. He just sent it in the ring after smashing the guardrail. Let's hit our fans here at the Unbranded Brewing Company in the front row. Now Rogers with that steel chair. Fonzie's in the ring though, Fonzie gets it from him. Be careful, Fonzie. A shove to Fonzie, the man in his 60s, for God's sake. 
Come on. The bell ringing. Rogers just going to work on Martinez. Fonzie grabs him by the hair. Come on, get your hands off of Fonzie. Here comes the South American Alliance. Crazy matchup. And what a horrible way for it to end. A blatant low blow. Let's get the announcement from our ring announcer. Here's your winner by disqualification, Alan S2S Martinez. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear.